that's what happened, Mr. Svarov. But there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a Fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using Fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a Fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. I see. Has Mr. Svarog ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network-connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. To make life easier for users, all of Bellabog's automatons contain language simulation abilities. They generate appropriate responses by reading preset parameters and mimicking natural human conversations. This, however, is only a simulation, and it does not mean that the automatons have actual emotional intelligence. But... Mr. Svarog is different. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Svarog always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. So, what should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed. Once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. <sighs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand, but I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence... You know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. There's only one way to completely remove muddled information. Overwriting. When the muddled information is removed, the base network will create a comprehensive backup and overwrite the data stored in the corresponding sector. <sighs> Maybe there's another way. We can install a lock in Pascal's core, clear the redundant data, and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then. We can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparag? This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. It will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal's stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around... And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, 
I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. But he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you, as well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overwritten by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle. Clara, the challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps he can suggest the best solution. Okay. I... I trust your judgment. We trust your decision. Both have provided their solutions. Svarog thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and to prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue. And it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution. Then persuade the other person. Outsider. I respect her wish. Have you made a decision about how to handle Pascal? I had anticipated this possibility. Tell me what you think. I understand. Over the past 700 years, there has never been an automaton that has developed emotional intelligence through its own computational power. Pascal is an intriguing subject worth researching. However, in my opinion, protecting humanity's safety and property is more important than research. Clara believes in you as a variable. Either way, your input will be taken into account. I'll keep gathering information and calculating new possibilities. Do you have any other insights, outsider? created by artificial intelligence. I shall give this more consideration to ensure that Clara grows up well. I've always avoided overburdening her. But if Clara insists on taking on such responsibilities, then I have no right to object. There's no need to discuss this any further. If you insist on using Clara's solution, the Svarag base network will completely support you choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. 
It's all up to you. I'll be... Uh, what should we do with Pascal? Uh, I figured you'd... But I'd like to know why you went with Mr. Svarg... I understand that crime should be punished, but I think Pascal deserves another chance. He only wants everyone to return safely to Rivet Town and live their peaceful lives like before. I think that anyone with emotions should be treated with dignity, regardless of whether they're a human or robot. I'm confident that I can prevent Pascal from stealing and harming others. However, I respect your point of view, so could you please talk more about your point of view? I'd like to... I said I will stay with Pascal until the end, but I'm actually scared too. I can't imagine it. How will I feel when I have to face Pascal after being forgotten so many times? What if I feel like giving up? Perhaps it's best to let go now, while my feelings for Pascal aren't as strong. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. This decision is much harder than I expected. I finally made my mind up. If you feel it's necessary, we'll do what Mr. Svarog suggested. But until you tell me when you're ready to make a decision- My choice will have a direct impact. Okay.
have you decided? My choice will have a direct impact on... Pascal, we're back. Pascal, good. Waiting. Waiting. Further instructions. Now, please be a good boy and don't move. Pascal, we've got Mr. Sparrow to help treat your illness. He'll help you recover. Illness? What is illness? But Pascal not move? Recover! How? Mr. Sparrow? Let's get started. Understood. The protective programs are ready for installation. I hope I made the right decision. Is it done? The programs were successfully installed. The robot will require offline maintenance and will be unable to communicate for some time. We can return to it later. I see. In that case, let's go back to the base. I think it's over. I'll check in with Clara later to see what's up.